Well, today is a Black Friday, the 26th of November 2020. A very warm welcome to the show. I hope you enjoyed Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed the discounted shopping today, whether it's on Amazon, for example, or eBay, or in the bricks and mortar store. If you do want to make sure that your product is not made in China, then I highly recommend using an application, not an application, an extension on Google Chrome, for example, called Cultivate. It's, and it will show you where the product is actually made. So if you want American made, or it's from Hong Kong, but not from mainland China, or it's from the country of Taiwan, it's from the country of Taiwan and not from mainland China, then that's the extension to use. Today, let's going back to the three gorges. We do have the levels. We do have something related to electricity and snow, the weather, the levels, and what else? A little bit of China news related to the COVID situation in Shanghai, and also a little bit of Christmas in China as well. Lots to get into, but we're going to go straight into the um, three gorges. Now, this time of year, it's just uh, at a level which we can look at later, but I will tell you now while I look at the screen, is at 173.53, I do believe. And that's pretty standard. The inflow and the outflow is at 8,400 in, 11,800 out. So there's more coming, sorry, there's less coming in and there's more coming out, producing electricity. And slowly, on the average year, it will eventually go down and down and down. But we know it's only producing 35% of the electricity at the moment, related to the inflow and outflow rates and the aging of the dam, even though it's relatively young compared to, let's say, the Hoover Dam in the United States of America. But there is a very big lake, a long way away from the Three Gorges, called, and I'm possibly going to say this wrong, Poyang Lake. You can see it on the map here. And this is sort of like an outflow lake, where if there are floods on the Yangtze River, if there are floods on the Yangtze River, then this is when they open up a gate, so to speak and the water will flow there. So it won't go into the big places in China, like Nanning, Suzhou, Nanning, Na sorry, Nan Nanking, Nanying, I always forget the name, and mainly Shanghai with a population of 24 million. In 2020, this did overflow, but the year before, this is surprising, and this is the sort of, environmental world, the, the climate that we live in now, the year before it was as dry as a bone. Again, you can see from the picture here. So the Three Gorges Dam, they do have 11 sluice gates. Now they would say that they've never opened 11 in total, but then on another report they would say that 11 have been opened. So you can see sort of the information coming out of China is never exact. I was actually literally before having a debate with a Chinese guy saying about the Olympic Games that a hundred they say a hundred percent clean green energy when if you look at the report it isn't and then he sort of changed it to almost is a hundred percent no it isn't a hundred percent is a hundred percent and I try to explain if you pass your if you get a hundred percent in your exams, that is 100%, yeah? especially if it was a mathematical exam and only these answers would be correct, no other, yeah? that's 100%. So when China goes, I'm really going off topic here, when they say that it's 100%, well, it's more like 95% because we're allowed the almost factor, bunny rabbit ears. That is really off topic. So this map you can see the Poyang Lake and this is sort of like the flood area and it's sort of not very well controlled in that respect and it is all related to the weather in the wet season. Now China is the cold season in you could, 
most of it. It's not going to be exactly very warm in the north. There's going to be a lot of snow. We will cover the snow in a moment or two. Um, but I think you get the idea. And if I say any more, I will be rabbiting on for a while or two. Let's go into the levels and also you can see the weather as well. People have asked me, um, is there any snow and if we go to dam? Well, ever since I've been covering this, I, when the webcam was up, then the answer is no, it's quite rare. But there has been an occasion that snow cuts off electricity from the free go to dam to Shanghai. Before, when the webcam was working, like last year, on a clear day on the mountains around the free gorges, like, this time of year you could actually see a little bit of snow but it, it was only snow-capped mountains only snow-capped mountains but in when was it I, I can't remember the year now and I forgot to take the screenshot of it there was an occasion you, you can just read the headline there was an occasion when the snow was actually pretty bad and surprisingly there's no videos or photos of this at all so was it at the free gorges dam or was it just on the snow-capped mountains and it was really really heavy snow in that part of the world yep the mountains would have quite a bit of snow but on the ground level the answer is no with that one let's go into some other bits of the news both of these bits of news do come from Shanghai and it reads like this. Yes, time for the famous James reading. Shanghai reported three locally transmitted COVID-19 cases on Thursday. That would be Thanksgiving. After nearly four months of no new local corona infections in the city. The three infected people had travelled from neighbouring Suzhou, Jiangsu province, in the past week. Shanghai's top health official said this in a media briefing. So far, there is no evidence to show whether the cases are related to other local infections in the country. The city's disease control professionals are racing against time to proceed with the in-depth something investigations on original tracing or origin tracing. So that's what's happening in Shanghai. But also, on a lighter note, China does sort of celebrate Christmas, not in the way, excuse me, not in the way of religion, but more in a way of a commercial enterprise. And you can see here that this market has only opened a couple of days in Shanghai. I don't know which area. A whacking big Christmas tree. And it's like a novelty like a novelty in there that you can enjoy and it's just a commercial enterprise christianity in china does exist but it is controlled under the ccp there are people who are christian and do believe in god but religion is sort of not widespread it's most people you would say are atheists which is a great shame and reminds me of the Roland Atkinson sketch when he was the devil and then he said, oh, atheists, oh, don't you look stupid now. Would you like to go to this corner here? That's it from me. A <laughs> Just a bit of nonsense, really. 
I'm just sort of trying to report the news related to the free gorges, what's happening in China. Again, what is not usually shown in the mainstream media, and that's all I'm showing. A point of view may be subjective, but with the with the origin of being objective. And I'm just putting my point of view. I just wish that sometimes people, oh, I would say all the time, just tell the truth. It's okay that you have homeless people. It's okay that this happens. You don't need to hide it. We can criticize afterwards, but I think we should live in the real world and the media should just be honest. Even though it's something bad, just be honest. Thank you. Have a great Friday. Enjoy the shopping. I will see you hopefully on Saturday, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for your time.